after so many of you guys asked for it. Here is a giveaway series in Python. I'm also going to be trying a couple new editing things, so let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. But without further ado, let's get straight into it. Alright, so here I am in my Visual Studio code, and these are the imports that we're going to be using. So we're going to be using Nextcord, AsyncIO, Random OS, and AIO SQLite for the database. You don't need config because that is just for my token here. Basically, what I'm going to do is we're going to use slash commands for this. And so if, you, if you're using something else, you might need to like do the slash commands in, I guess, another format but everything else should just be the same so we're gonna set up by using cogs because well a lot of you guys do use cogs in yours and i feel like it may be a lot more harder this time to convert this code into cogs so we're just gonna use cogs from the beginning so we're just gonna do we're gonna create we have our cogs folder right here if you don't you can create one and then also type out this code now, if you're already using COGS, you should already have this. And I also have a video specifically on COGS, so I highly recommend you check that out if you don't know what COGS already are. But now we're going to do an on ready event by doing bod.event and something like async dev on underscore ready. And basically something like this. And then what we're going to do here is we're just going to print bot is ready. And then we're going to do bod.db equals await async io dot connect and it's going to be called giveaway.db so right here all right so now that we have that what we want to do is we want to actually create another file inside of our cogs so over here what we're going to do is we're just going to create giveaway.py okay so now that we have giveaway.py we're gonna import a bunch of things. So we're gonna import next chord and these are for slash commands. So we're also gonna do from next chord, import interaction, channel type, and slash option. And then we're gonna do from next chord dot ext, import commands, tasks, and application underscore checks and then we're also going to do another one from x next core dot abc import guild channel and then we're going to import async io or human friendly and then we're going to do import JSON and random and lastly import AIO SQL light. Yeah, it's a whole bunch, but you'll see why we need them later on. This giveaway, it's gonna be really complicated, but it's gonna be worth it in the end, just trust me. And then we're gonna create our giveaway class or the cogs class. So just by doing giveaway commands.cog. After we open this up, we're gonna do def underscore underscore in it. And then in here we're gonna pass in self and bot. Inside bot, it's going to be self.bot equals bot. And we can do a def setup bot and actually create this into a cog. So bot dot add underscore cog. And it's going to be giveaway and then the bot. There we go. So now inside this. We're going to create an event and the way we actually register events in cogs is by using cog.listener so commands.cog.listener and then async def on underscore ready self and inside here what we're going to do is await self dot bot wait underscore until ready and then await async io dot sleep and then a two second timer. And then we're gonna do async with self dot bot. Or sorry, async with self dot bot dot db dot cursor and as cursor. And then we're just gonna create a table for our giveaways. And now this is gonna have a lot of values, right? So just bear with me here. 
because we're gonna be having we're gonna have to access all of these at one point or another. So we're gonna do 08. Sorry about that. 08 cursor dot execute. It's gonna be create table if not exists called giveaways. And inside here we're gonna have time. It's an integer. We're gonna have prize, which is gonna be some text. We're gonna have message, which is also an integer. We're gonna have channel, which is also an integer. We're gonna have guild, which is yeah, you guessed it, it's an integer. We're gonna have participants, which is also actually it's some text. We're gonna have winners which is also an integer and then we're gonna have finished which is gonna be a boolean and that's basically it yeah it's a whole bunch and then after we have that what we're gonna do is we're gonna do await self dot bot dot db dot commit and then we're just gonna print something such as I can't actually print it. Print data base status online. And there we go. That's it for, I guess, today. But before we can run it, I actually made a small oopsie. Uh, and set, I put async I over here. It should be actually AIO SQLite. So, so make sure you connect, uh, correct that. But then when we actually, okay, so now that we run it and we fix our two typos over here, you should see that we have bots ready and then we have database status online. And now if we check our giveaway DB, it's filled with a bunch of things. In fact, so filled with all of this data, meaning that, Hey, it's working. And that's going to be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. Tell me about what you thought about the editing. And until next time, close to go. See ya.